Hi everyone, my name is Gao Jie, the founder of BYJ Creative, a brand design company in Shanghai. I've been running this company over eight years. Our core business is about visual identity, uh, brand design, uh, packaging design, and all um, visual solutions for lots of industries. Uh, nowadays in China, actually we have more and more designers in uh, all kinds of fields like graphic designers, animation gra uh, designers, and lots of uh, new media designers. And uh, our environment, our business environment nowadays in China, also we have on online and offline platforms. So uh, more and more uh, clients, they want to have uh, interesting or challenging uh, visual uh, solutions to present for them. So I can share with all of you seven things about the trends in China nowadays. The first topic I want to share with all of you is about the logo must be Chinese only because uh, in China, we always naming, have a habit of naming or brands in Chinese. But nowadays, more and more brands want to present their attitude uh, in a very international open way. So they hope to name their brands in some uh, multiple languages, like French language, English language, so that could present their attitude open to the world. So nowadays, English naming is a trend. Uh, we can see here, I share with you some cases I've been uh, work on. It's uh, in different industries like real estate industries, uh, technical industries, and shoes and menswear industries. They all want to name their brands in an English way. And also they love to follow the world trends because uh, these years most uh, Luxury brands, they change their logo uh, to sans serif fonts. So nowadays, we also love to uh, design the brands uh, in some sans serif fonts uh, and with some English name and they could present more international tones I, I share with you all. And the topic two is must we have an IP icon for packaging design? Uh, I have to say it is still a trend in China that iconized design helps brand awareness. Uh, we, especially for FMCG food industries, they always want to touch the audience directly with some strong memories link, like uh, animal, uh, animal icons or uh, the IP personalized icon because that could help establish a strong connection about brand awareness. Uh, here I share with all of you some cases uh, like the uh, sportswear and some delivery uh, chains at some FMCG fashion brands. They all love to have the icons uh, with their IP. So uh, in China's uh, culture, we have uh, some interesting meanings for some animals, like rabbits means we have the speed and efficiency, tiger have the passionate and power, and the dog have the loyalty, something like that. So lots of animals uh, have been used as an icon in uh, some chi Chinese-based industries and also we have some um, interesting uh, uh, interesting uh, how to say the the trends understanding so we love to follow the international big brands like the Lotura Active you can see here because Lorna Jens in Australia is very famous for their icons and their uh, fashion designs. So nowadays, our clients in China love to have some uh, design models or competitors uh, cases for us to see. So in design, 
way, we sometimes have to follow uh, the client's needs. Most of them, they love to have this kind of way to like a little bit copycat the international trends. And the third way is brands need more strategic visual solutions for online channels uh, because we have online platform and offline platform uh, right now in China, especially like the international uh, Twitter, TikTok, we have the same in China. So not only we have to do the graphic based designs, but also we need to think about vlogs, videos, vlogs, uh, GIFs. So uh, nowadays uh, also we uh, provide us uh, provide an integrity solutions for clients, uh, both online and offline. But it is a very uh, interesting way that we have to follow or decide different strategy, visual strategies for different platform. Like Instagram is totally different uh, for platform like uh, Chinese WeChat or uh, Twitter is totally different from Weibo in China. So we have to do some different kinds of designs. I share with you here is some posters and some uh, videos with music. They, uh, they put on different platform, like posters we post on Instagram, but the videos is post on the uh, video platform in China. So uh, we think online needs more experience with visuals and in different media, we have to do different solutions uh, for international uh, platform, more open to the world. It needs more vibrant or, um, or uh, English uh, style designs, but the, in China platform, we need to localize somehow because not lots of the Chinese can understand very good English. And the uh, topic four is the color trends for branding. The color trends for branding, actually we are here following the global trends. Uh, we can see the pictures here for 2022 and 2023. We also follow the panel uh, trends ideas. So this is the guideline for all of designers in China. And the fifth is the textures for production. Yes, uh, we, when we do packaging designs or product designs, sometimes we need to come to the production, uh, production phase. So textures for production nowadays we want to uh, have, a, uh, have a, uh, some distract from the historical Chinese culture. What that means is uh, we begin to have some uh, ritual or uh, have some respect for our traditional Chinese, uh, very classy uh, cultural uh, things. So we, we begin to utilizing traditional Chinese materials or take advantage of some shapes we or, or uh, people used before. Uh, like I share with you here, yes, I did some designs for the Palace Museum in China. Uh, we designed the candles, the scented candles, but we are, uh, uh, Qing Dynasty uh, pattern. The Qing Dynasty have some patterns for uh, like the ocean animals and the uh, uh, very traditional Chinese birds. We use that patterns as a as a design uh, ideas, and also we product some uh, very interesting products for our clients, and we use jade gold and some uh, golden leaves. That is a very uh, traditional Chinese materials when using uh, in historical uh, different dynasties. But nowadays designers begin to uh, have some 
uh, have some uh, interesting way to utilizing these kind of things. And the topic six is simple designs with fun. Of course, after the 2000, uh, younger consumers love interesting designs. They don't want to be too serious. So when we do logo designs, visual identity designs, we begin to uh, design some interesting patterns when uh, we applying in some offline uh, Occasions like here, I share with all of you is some uh, cafe shop in China, and most cafe shop or the bubble tea shop they want to have younger consumers, of course. So they wanna uh, have some interesting mix with different materials. So it is a, a trend for all of designers in China that when we do some. Uh, to consumers business, we uh, will do some interesting or put input some fun elements in our designs. And for sure the NFT or in the whole world is a upcoming uh, interesting topic. But in China, it is a, at a very early stage still, but it has a big market. For example, I have a gaming entertainment client and they love, uh, they always have some mobile games. Uh, and uh, nowadays they set up a new apartment focus on NFT. They are looking for lots of China's uh, very interesting or talented designers or artists to have their designs and artworks put on their NFT platform. They want to have them grow up in that profile, uh, platform and in, in one day maybe to uh, set up an IP uh, from them. So for client side, they want to use NFT as a new uh, business resources. But for consumers, we can uh, have some uh, connections with like, galleries because lots of artists want to try some contemporary NFT things and some big brands have already do some campaigns, the brand campaigns with NFT IPs. So nowadays, uh, NFT in China, uh, as you see here, is in a very early stage, but lots of clients are working on this new channel. So above the seven topics here I share with you, it's all the uh, recent trend for China's market. But in a world, uh, we Chinese always uh, love to open up to the international world and de designers here nowadays uh, love to uh, uh, follow up some good uh, designs uh, via Instagram, Pinterest, Behance, so we can see lots of very talented design works all over the world. And sometimes the main question is how the client in China could, uh, could understand or take the, the, the designs in uh, their business because not all the good design ways can be used in local Chinese industry. So sometimes we have to do the localizations for designs here. And uh, hope uh, there's something can uh, share with you here and inspire you somehow. Thank you.